The city of Mbour is the center of Senegal's fishing industry. Here, catches are still good. But the country's population is growing, so demand is on the rise. And more and more fishermen are casting their nets in the same waters. Will there be enough fish to feed everyone in the future? Mathematicians are trying to find out. These fishermen are taking a break. That gives Kwabena Owusu the chance to tell them about his research project. The doctoral student comes from Ghana, so his Senegalese colleague translates for him. Their team is looking for fishermen to take part in an experiment. And in that case, we need each of you to help us with that, because you are the main people on the ground learning the language. Well. Using a cell phone app, the fishermen will report the amounts of fish they caught and how long they were at sea. We will also be looking at a way we can sustain the fisheries and what we do is the extracts from the experiments will be analyzed statistically and after that we actually model it using uh, more, uh, belief revision models, that is another bunch of mathematics and with that it is hoped that it will help to design and implement the continual improvement of the fisheries. The researchers never lose sight of the reason for their research. They can see the ocean from their workplace at the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences, or AIMS for short. German researcher Gunnar Brandt is a partner in the project. Kwabena Owusu tells him about his talk with the fishermen. Brandt and his colleagues at Bremen's Leibniz Center for Tropical Marine Ecology came up with the idea of modeling the fishermen's activities mathematically. Their experiment is just one of several cooperative projects at Ames. Established four years ago, the center in Senegal is part of a pan-African network of Ames institutes. They nurture the mathematical skills of the continent's brightest students. What it seeks to do is to discover the next Einstein. They actually believe that for Africa to develop, then we need to first develop the mind, the brains of the African so that the African itself can help, bring, uh, can help develop Africa. The students here are among the best from their respective countries. And we get to learn different cultures, we get to learn different languages. We are more so they learn more than just math here. So These young people are also engaged in intercultural African exchange, African where they discover what life is like in other African countries. Here, they also make contacts. Maybe one of us will be a politician, I don't know, or a big decision maker. And so this will be really easy for us to discuss because we know each other and we know like the culture or a bit from the culture for the other countries. The spectrum of research is broad, spanning both theoretical and applied mathematics and top researchers from around the globe come here to give lectures and workshops. At Ames, the hierarchies are flat. To be an internationally recognized center of excellence means being open to unconventional ideas. So Professor Mohamed Fall's door is always open to young researchers like Kwabena Owusu. In my understanding, you may be, the teacher may have more experience better say more knowledge, a lot of knowledge, but the students might be more intelligent. So it's better to always discuss and to see the way that the people, the students, understand things. Whether the mathematicians will be able to help the fishermen of Mbour remains unclear. But their research shows that they're serious about trying to improve life in Africa.